all right guys now i've been seeing people do all these random type of tier lists and i want to do some some tier lists in my own way a little bit and basically i'm just gonna be ranking the ragnarok characters that appear in terms of like personality and uh character design for the most part for me um and what i really really like and enjoy again this is just my personal opinion so if you don't like my list tell me why and stuff like that in the comments or if i should like bump a character up again i do play jp so most of the time i don't really get like the caption details and stuff like that to translate it i'm just like it's like a vibe check for me you know i just get i just go off the vibes of what i see so i'm just gonna be ranking these characters uh i'm gonna try to go as fast as possible because the last time i recorded this i probably went a little bit too uh long with like explain my characters all right so we got grimnar uh music guy definitely definitely mid all right I, again he's a mid character uh i love his uh music taste and all that good stuff but again don't really pay attention too much in the story you have scotty don't really say too much but i really enjoy her character design uh, throughout the story like it, it, the mid is just me just caring about the character design and stuff like that the, or maybe just the personality just in the mid all right you got Freyr, definitely amazing uh you got the big bubble waifu uh, amazing design merit amazing character definitely nice uh you have this the one of the elf girls definitely amazing i really do enjoy her, her design and character when appearing in a new story that's just me uh Fenrir, god tier character um i really enjoyed him in the ragnarok story with him and bond kind of had like a a student slash teacher relationship and you can really feel that in that story with ragnarok bond i feel like with ragnarok bond that's where ragnarok story took a step ahead in terms of like the um the story because at the beginning it felt like it was really lacking this is my opinion it felt like it was really lacking but when that ragnarok uh ragnarok bond story appear uh that's where you see the story gets a little bit better you know uh higher amazing character but he only appears like a couple of a couple of seconds for the most part but he has amazing character design for me like his design is so good that i gotta put this man in amazing all right all right we got brunhill um brunhill to me just feel like an, an okay character but i'll put her in mid because she looks really really good like i i just feel like when i look at brunhill she just feels so basic to me you know i don't know she just has like the basic look basic design like a regular princess knight or whatever like I, I just didn't feel too much for it like i said before in the beginning of ragnarok it gets like really slow you start to not really care about characters and i feel like that's what the bad thing about ragnarok story in general is that most people just care about the rewards and you don't really pay too much of the story but again i when the ragnarok bond appeared like that's where the story like really picked up in terms of like being good you have shao the little girl Who's like a psychic i think she's just okay i don't know too much about her but in terms of like personality stuff when i see in the game kind of trash uh freyer mm, probably mid for me um as a i don't really like his design too much i mean people do really love his design but me i it's it's okay uh personality okay as well so i just put him in the mid because I do really like enjoy his uh his uh his character design more so than others. Uh you have Thonar, which is the female Thor. She doesn't have a yellow form, so I'll probably say she's trash. Again, yeah, I'm waiting for that yellow form. I'm waiting for the hammer form where she gets like yellow hair, turns super saiyan. And that's what I can really judge Thonar. Uh, you have the two twins. Uh just okay characters for me for the most part. Again, I love the like cutesy wootsy uh old animations from when they appear in the beginning stages but other than that you really don't really care too much about those two giants uh this i think this is like one of brunhill's subordinates hagen definitely a trash character like I, I don't really care about him again i just know him because i was trying to find characters and i was like i seen this guy before he's one of like brunhill's subordinates i think uh you have this evil guy definitely in a trash as well don't really care about him too much in the story he does appear um what was it the, the, was it the after it was before the yormaganer this guy appears 
the gilda definitely a god tier personality like i said before with the ragnarok story you definitely just feel the emotions from the gilda like she has so much personality or maybe i'm just a sucker for her trope which is like the cutesy wootsy uh psycho killer type of female girl what is it like Yan yanare or something like that that's the trope definitely really love it all right definitely really seager hmm seager i do i start to i started to appreciate seager even though i think he has a basic protagonist face i really start to like seager um Especially when he has like that dragon fight i really really start to like him and he does have a really cool design so i'll probably put him in amazing for me again i just i would put burning in amazing but i just feel like i don't know too much about her again i do play on jp so i really don't get her i'm really like I, again i just vibe check because like what i see again most people really don't really care about ragnarok story and like unlike other games where people really dive into like the lore and stuff like you know Genshin where people just fall in love with the characters on Genshin bro it is absolutely insane uh and Yormaganer god tier uh with Yormaganer I'm not gonna lie uh really cool character uh, I thought she had like a serious personality when I first saw her but as you just progress through the Ragnarok story you see that she has a very kind and a sweet person especially to her brother Fenrir and I really do enjoy that uh okay so you have the two god of six characters this is the one with the no boobs mm. I really like her design mm. I guess I'll put it in mid I really like her design and I'll probably put the other one in the amazing one I like her design way more because it's like a it's like a contrast from what it looks like you know you have this sweet sweet nerdy one i don't know maybe because her glasses you know i'm, I'm breaking her up so high <laughs> i like the glasses and then you have heimdall man heimdall definitely a god to your character man i know it's so funny because i'd be showing them pictures of heimdall being like yo man how do you feel about this character and people always think like this person is a girl when it's actually a guy uh definitely competition for Gother and glocks in terms of like the guys who look so cute that you would think they'll be a female but they're actually a guy um can't wait for him to be an actual unit he looked like he has a very important part in the story so i feel like he will probably get a unit and when that day happens i'm definitely six six mark yo, yo mark that down what i said man clip if you want to man when he get, when he comes out as a unit i'm definitely six six in him just because how good he looks um for me personally and you have the uh other elf girl definitely just okay for me like this little elf girl who king and them pretty much uh uh like each other i think looks like they like each other or he attracted to her i, I forget which one it is but you know she she has a cool i like a design but i don't know i just actually i want to put it in mid man because I don't know. I like her design a lot. Personality is there, of course. And I feel like this might be a, a solid list for me personally. Again, you guys can rank who you think should be in like a god tier and stuff for yourself. I'm pretty sure people are gonna be like, yo, Frazier should definitely be in the god tier. Because people would just like literally craving the, the, the booba lady from the trailer. They were like, can she please be a unit? Um, but we got her brother Freyer instead, which People do like her his design as well. They gave him like a what's that um was it King Arthur? No, oh, it's like is it Arthur? I forget I forget who it's like that the, the golden guy, right? That people say they remind him of the swords and stuff. Is it Arthur? Man, I, I I for I forget. I forget this name from Fate, alright? But yeah, guys, this is pretty much my list on me ranking characters that I like throughout the story again some of these characters you really just see like once in a couple of times i try to get the characters that at least feel like they really are uh, important in some part of the story uh, i think i'm missing one person like that uh that guy who looks like freaking kratos uh with the face paint that giant i think that's the only person i'm really really missing but i feel like this is a solid list for me personally again 
hopefully they still improve upon the Ragnarok story in terms of like the characters that they will uh give personalities to because I feel like the thing with this is that we just don't love the characters as much as we uh would like to you know we just don't love them as much as we'd like to but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video just really guys and I'm out peace